so it is okay let me turn on my video so the theme is going to be the same counting but maybe the flavor will be a little different last time it was like exponential uh this time it will be maybe more let's see counting uh using uh recurrence theme we will see i'll just say counting using recurrences <clears throat> So maybe uh, once again in this we can start with a very basic question. Um, let us see. Yeah, we can start with something like this. Okay, let's say that you have uh, ten. Uh, let's say five, three, four, five. Okay, so we have these five points, yeah? and now we are going to a journey from the initial point from the first point to the last point okay. what will our journey be a journey will be to either take a step of length one or to take a step of length two okay and one journey would be to reach from the first position to the last position let's say this is one journey a different journey would be maybe you take this and again you take a step up this is a different journey and then there are different kinds of journeys right so the question is uh, how many different journeys are there The rule is you either take step of length one or step of length two. Not you cannot take a step of length three. Yeah. Okay, I know it will be like journeys, maybe, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Whatever. I have already written two. You can just count all of them by hand if you want. Just just uh, write down all the possibilities and then you can see. Uh, sir, can we use like two steps, one step and can we use like directly from one to five? No. no. So that's the rule is that you can only use two step or one steps, not three steps, uh, not four steps. <clears throat> Sorry. Five. Right. So, can you see what are the other three than these two that I've listed? Um, uh, one, two, 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 three, three, two, four, four to five. Uh, okay. Um, 
one to three, three to four, four to five. Hmm. So. Okay. So this one is you understand this one is like all our length one steps the one which you said first. Then you are saying one two three so that's like taking a step of length two first and then. Um, two <clears throat> and. Then one three to four. Yes. And one. Yes. Right. So now you understand the scheme in which I'm writing it. It's just for my own convenience. And then what's the other one? One plus two plus one. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Two plus two plus two. No, two plus two plus two will not work. Sorry, two okay. plus two. Two plus two. Uh, two plus two. Plus two. No, and two plus two. No, two plus, plus two. Uh, wait. Oh, two plus two. I have. Uh, I've written the pink one, right? Okay, so we'll write it here. No problem. And one plus one plus two. <clears throat> ah, right. One plus one plus two. Okay, good. So the answer in this case is five. So maybe, and you can also see that this question is interestingly related with how do you, basically all these numbers are adding up to five. And I'm just asking, I mean, the, the question is just that how many ways you can break up five using ones and twos only. That's all, that's all where this question is. Right? <clears throat> these are the same questions in different, uh, Guys, no, but obviously this is not a this is nothing. This is just for five. This is okay. This is just fun. Let us see. So, but I'll just start to make a table. Okay, so it's a table. <clears throat> so here I will write n, and here number of journeys. Hash is like number of journeys. It's uh, sometimes it's useful to make this table because then the patterns may be in front of you. <clears throat> Can you tell me that uh, if it was just one point, then how many journeys are there? And probably we'll just say one journey if there was only one point. Right? But more interestingly, if there are two points then. <clears throat> so you have already answered for five points, you said five. For two, three, four, it will be much easier. So you can say. There's two points. Then there's only one journey, right? <clears throat> Let's just check if that is clear. Hello, is, is that okay? Yes, sir. Right. For, for two points, the answer is just one, right? It's just in front of us. For three, for three points. Yeah, so if there are three points and how many journeys are there? Two. Yes. So quickly, you can also tell me for four points. Three. Yeah, so yeah. So now once you start understanding this, you, it will be very easy. Minus one. Huh? Uh, well, for five, it is not minus one. For five, you have told me it's five. 
let us see is the pattern so simple oh, oh, fibonacci series uh, yeah so it looks like fibonacci series okay and but we still yeah that you have spotted uh, let me not say it is correct right now let's first prove it and then you yourself will be able to say if it's correct or not but then how do you prove that it is fibonacci series That is the whole point. Because you yourself are thinking it's Fibonacci. Try to plan. How would you show that the answer is indeed Fibonacci? you make the plan either you want to do for six seven and get more reassurance or think think for a few minutes then So what, what what should we do? What should be the plan? Should we try for six, seven or or uh for seven it is coming thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, for six. It's interesting that you have calculated seven or seven. So for six, it should be eight, according to, but still yes, it's eight. it is eight. eight. Okay. Okay. So since you have done all these calculations, how did you calculate for six? Did you calculate everything from scratch or are you using the smaller cases? The main question is, are you using the smaller cases? Think, like look at the journeys that you have for six and try to see, can you connect them with journeys till five and journeys till four somehow? Then the counting process will become faster. At least. 
<clears throat> sorry. Oh, wait, but you are already there. Oh, something happened. <clears throat> oh, did you get, uh... okay, okay, did you get disconnected? Yeah, I did not notice it. Yes, I got disconnected. Yes, yes. So let me say the main thing that I was trying to say. See, you have calculated for six, it's eight, and for seven, it's 13. And you are 99% sure, I mean, you're sure that it is Fibonacci. Uh, my question to you was that, how did you calculate for six? Did you use the smaller cases? Yes, like um, for five, whatever yeah. I've done, um, I added a step. Hmm. Okay. And then again, uh, I like those I did. I did those plus then I calculated like from six to four like that. Six, six to four or four to six, uh, six to four. What does it mean? Like, um, I, after calculating by adding one uh -huh. after the results of five, I mm -hmm. calculated six, like from double steps, from four to six to uh, double steps. Yes, right, right. So you kind of already have the idea. Maybe yet you're not putting it in words, but you already have the idea that I the, the last case and the second last case is being used, right? And the adding them, you are getting the next case. And you have broken up the problem in the correct way, if I may say. But let me write it diagrammatically a little bit so that it will be clear. What you are telling me is this. Okay. So journeys to six are of two types. What you have told me is if the last step. is one, I'm just writing in, you understand last step being one. I'm not, not writing length one and so on, okay? <clears throat> as much as we can both understand, I'm only writing that much, okay? The last step is two. This is what you're telling me, basically, right? If the last step is one or the last step is two, and then, this you are saying is, this is basically journeys to five, right? Because basically any journey to five and then just adding a step, right? So these are basically journeys to five, right? Any, the number of journeys to five and then you add a step, but the number of journeys to five don't change, right? Those are here in this category. And then they come to the next category. Next class is steps are length two. These are basically journeys till four, right? Any journey till four and then a step, then a, then a double step. Journeys to four. This is it, right? And so it will be sum of these two. Because these are all two different cases, right? Just last step is one, last step is two. They are all different journeys. There is no common in them, right? Fine. Yes, can sir. you, right? Yeah. So now can you say this for general N? Because see, mathematically now, the, the mathematical, if you want to consider it as an obligation also, it's fine. And mathematical ob our mathematical obligation is see as common as as common people. It's not our obligation to prove anything, but in mathematics we have to prove, right? And uh, proof is sometimes a, a kind of a formality. This case is almost a formality because you already know that it is true. But 
proof is a lot is very very useful also you know even if you're just interested in the answer anyways let us see can you now reason this what will this be journeys to n if it's a general n or maybe here only i will just put dot 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 n this is n and this is last second last step and this is the second second last step or whatever journey to n minus 1 hmm. plus journey to n minus 2 right okay that's fine i mean one should uh, ideally one can expand on that like okay journeys to n minus 1 and a step or you should say like journeys to n two cases which do not overlap last step is one last step is two if the last step is one then that is basically journeys to n minus 1 Right, that the number of journeys in which last step is one is basically journeys to n minus one because it means you reach n minus one exactly. And similarly, the n minus two. And then you're going to add this two. Okay, that is fine. This is correct. So then have we proved that the answer is Fibonacci? Right, because the answer for the nth case, this journeys to n which I will just now, because I don't want to write journeys to n all the time, I'll just call it jn, right? jn, the subscript n, uh, we understand it means uh, journeys to n. That is basically jn minus one. Plus jn minus two. This is just, just notational we are doing, notation we are changing. That's it. This, this is maybe the first time you are building a recurrence for a problem, but it did not come out of the blue. You had to do the small cases patiently and then see the patterns, right? It won't, it will usually not come out of the blue. You won't be able to just guess a recurrence. So, Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. So we understand what JN means. It is the number of journeys to N minus one. I'm just writing it as J. I have to write it as something. That's it. And we have proved in the past, though this probably will not be very useful, that yeah. we have proved though, that we know the answer, we know what this is. We have proved that this is uh, some complicated things we did, right? Solve the recurrence. And this is probably will not be useful for your syllabus till quite some time. And this is not really very uh, interesting also in the sense of, this is like a different question. Finding the exact answer is different. And it's, uh, it's a, that's a different kind of uh, knowledge. Okay, so this is, we know the answer is this. This we have uh, proved in the past. Uh, or maybe it's uh, plus, uh, minus. Some plus, minus might be wrong. But that is fine. That when we prove it, you can. But I'm not going to that. That is not our important point. Important point is to be able to tell that, yeah, look, this is the recurrence. It starts with one and one. This is the how it grows. And it's a well-known Fibonacci. That is a good good answer for now. And even if even if you have this, you can quite quickly calculate J10, J13, and so on, right? So it's a good answer anyways. All right, so that was your first recurrence. Okay. Right. Let us now, uh, let us now try something else, maybe which is similar.
just a minute. Mm. So maybe, no, okay, uh, yeah. Let us try the following. So you had this uh, idea that what if there is no restriction on the length of the step? Let us try that question itself. Okay. So the same problem that we had, but now steps can be of any length. Let us see, because initially uh, that's how you interpreted the question. Let's answer that question. Steps are of any length. This is give it a try. Yeah. We'll see what happens. This is okay. This we can keep. So here we are not worried about the length of the step. You can take step of any length. Uh, sir, will this be combination? I don't know. I don't know. I Maybe it will be yes, hopefully. Uh, because like if there are supposed three steps, then uh, by combination, uh, we get um, two combination and oh, three um, steps means n equal to three or one, two, three. Ah, okay. N equal to three, right? Meaning that there are n points, not n steps. Okay. I understand that. Okay. So there are technically two steps there. So um, two factorial is two into one. So two only. Oh. Like the prince Sorry. is. Two. Sorry, go on, go on. Like, uh, there is a gap between one and two, one gap, and two and three. There is another gap between. Mm -hmm. So it's like two factorial, which is two. Okay. How does two factorial now, if... come? I do not understand that. Yet. Anyways, maybe try to explain for four, then I, I can understand. Let's see. So you're saying that for one, it is one. For two, it is one. For three, it is two. Okay. For four. So what is it for four and how will it connect with factorials?
try out the cases four and five. See, give it a try. I just uh, drink some water and come. So, Um, yes, Nandini, how is it going? So I'm not understanding how to do it. All right, no problem. So, but why don't we just calculate for n equal to four? Yeah. Let's see, are you able to calculate for n equal to 4 and see what is it that you're getting as the answer? Because yes, it's a strange question. So unless we calculate a few cases, maybe we cannot say, right? Four. Right, so for n equal to 4, you're getting 4, okay. For 5. You have to just try, unless you still see, still you see a pattern maybe, you can try.
एट राइट ओके तो दैट्स समथिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन सो ऑल यूर it's not just the answer your calculation effort is telling you that the your process of calculation is kind of possible maybe telling you that so we'll try to show it 